I will first open a sample project attached to the program. In the top menu, select File and then select Open. I point to the EC Hall file and click Open. A structure model has appeared in the program workspace. This is a steel structure design. Using this model, I will discuss some of the functions of the context menus. By selecting the right mouse button in the program workspace, we can call up the context menu. The contents of the context menu depends on the context of the activation. It is worth activating the context menu frequently and familiarizing yourselves with the options that are available in it. I don't have items selected at this time. I click the right mouse button in the program workspace. A context menu has appeared. In the menu that appears, I have amongst other options related to the view and options related to entering bars in the model. For example, I'll select standard view from the menu, then activate the front view command. The view in the workspace of the program has changed and we now see the structure from the front. I will try to change the value of the viewing angle. Personally, when working the program, I set the value of the viewing angle to zero degrees. I change the value on the slider and set the value to zero degrees. Now we'll choose with the left mouse button a single bar. After selecting the bar, I click the right mouse button. A context menu is displayed. We can see that now we have different contents in the context menu. In the menu, we have many options related to the modification of the bar. From this menu, we can call up, for example, the command copy selected members or move selected bars and so forth. We can activate here, for example, the command divide the bar with nodes or add eccentricity. In the menu, we also have options related to loads. We can add a new load to the bar directly from the menu or go to the window with the table of bar loads. From the context menu, I'll select, for example, the option edit bar loads. A window has appeared in which we can see the tables for all the loads added to the bar. In this window, we can modify the loads of the bar, for example, change the load value or change the load group. In this window, we can also add new loads to the bar as well as remove bar loads. I'm closing the window with a table of the bar loads. I press the escape key and uncheck the bar. Now I will select a single node with the left mouse button. After selecting the node, I click the right mouse button. A context menu is displayed. We can see that now we have different contents in the context menu. The options available in the menu are mainly related to the modification of the node. From this menu we can call amongst others the commands move selected nodes or delete selected nodes, adjust, modify nodes. In the menu we also have options related to loads. We can add a new load to the node directly from the menu or go to the window with a table of node loads. From the context menu, I will select, for example, the option Edit Node, Load or Support. A window has appeared in which we can see tables with all the loads added to the node. There are currently no loads defined on this node, so the table is empty. In this window, we can modify the loads of the node, for example, change the load value or change the load group. We can also add new loads to the node in this window. 
and remove the node loads. I close the window with a table of load nodes. I press the escape key and uncheck the node. The content of the context menu changes depending on the context of the activation and the currently selected tab in the right pane. I'll go to the results tab. I will display on the bars a graph of the bending moment from the dead weight. I select the option display uh, the MY chart and select the dead weight group. Now I will select a single bar in the program workspace with the left mouse button. After selecting the bar, I click the right mouse button. A context menu is displayed. We can see that we now have different contents of the context menu for a single bar. In the context menu, we now have amongst others options for detailed analysis of the group displayed graph. For example, I can select show extreme values. When this option was selected, labels with extreme values appeared on the bar. Again, I click the right mouse button on the selected bar and select show pointed values from the context menu. I now indicate with the left mouse button points on the bar. At the indicated points, labels with values of internal force appear on the bar. I can remove the labels with values at any time. I press escape and end the command to add labels with values. I mark the same bar again with the left mouse button. I click the right mouse button and select hide selected endpoints. The labels with values are gone. I'll go back to the geometry tab. As we have seen, the contents of the context menu depends on the context of the activation. Working in the program, we will often use the context menu functions.